all you air haulers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and we are back in Air Hauler and Microsoft Flight Simulator. So today, uh, got a few things to cover, and then we are going to make a flight from uh, Stockton, our uh, latest or our last uh, base that we opened, and we're going to fly down to Browns Field, which is in San Diego, and open up a new base down there, and then we'll get into more of that. So, uh, if we let's start off by looking at the company finances, we've done really well. Uh, we are up to 5.5 million, and uh, that gives us the ability to pay on our loan, open up a new base, and still maintain above 5 million, which is always kind of the standard that I like to do. So, if we look at our chart over here you can see that uh, after each blip then we try to get up above the next level and then kind of keep it above that so that we keep increasing our finances now I had to I was going to buy a new aircraft this time around but the aircraft that I had been waiting for came up came up uh, about a week or so ago and I was not about to let that one get away from me I got a new Beechcraft and if we go over here to the fleet uh, you can see it right here uh, it is a Beechcraft let's see what is it what a uh, Beechcraft uh, one uh, oh well, let's go over to the marketplace. That'll be easier to show it to you. We go over to the marketplace aircraft, and it's right down here at the bottom. It's the Beechcraft D18S, and it's right down here at the very bottom. And we needed to come over here anyway, because as you can see, uh, the cost of a new plane was 953716 so now if uh, we can close this out uh i bought this aircraft it was at 54 percent uh on the market uh used market so it was five hundred and fifteen thousand and seven dollars and so uh right there that's basically almost half off uh the repairs cost me forty six thousand to bring it up to 100 percent which was a total of uh 561,000 and that means we had a savings of almost four hundred thousand dollars 392 645 to be exact but uh, almost a four hundred thousand dollar savings on that and uh, I got that uh, eight days ago basically and got it into the fleet uh, it only requires one pilot which is the nice thing about it its uh, maximum takeoff is 9,800 pounds, and I believe that's just under the cutoff. So I think it's 10,000 maximum takeoff is what uh, requires, those planes require two pilots. So I'm able to fly this aircraft around with just one uh, pilot, which is nice. It's a twin engine, and it has a cruise speed of 191 and its cargo capacity i have this one set up for maximum cargo of 2829 pounds so a lot of jobs kind of pop up uh that uh, this plane can handle and it can pretty much fly into any airport so you're not limited on that so it has a lower range so you're not going to be able to fly it uh, transcontinental and stuff like that but it really makes a nice uh, regional uh, cargo hauler. And the other thing too, this plane was already set up for cargo, so I didn't have to have that expense. So that's one of the plane, that's one of the things I wanted to talk about today. So let me kind of cross that off the list. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention, if you remember in the last episode, I hired a pilot, right? Uh, I hired Christiansen. Christian and so I got him he got into Stockton I believe it was is where I had him come to he was going to fly the Jabiru 
and got him trained on the Jabiru. His first flight, his first flight, his first landing, he had catastrophic. It cost me $46,000 to repair the plane. Needless to say, uh, he made one more flight back to another base, and then I promptly fired him and hired uh, a new pilot. So my pi my new pilot is Morgan, uh, and he's been doing okay. He had a couple of small incidents, but every once in a while, I kind of consider those small incidents as more maintenance than anything else. So, and as you can see, I've already got all my pilots flying today. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pilots now in the fleet. And so we are doing rather well. And so we've got a variety of uh, craft now. We've got the uh, two Cessnas, the two Cirruses. Uh, I got the original Skyhawk and then the two Jabiru's. And that works out really well because when I brought in the beach craft, I was able to elevate everybody. So Alex went from uh, uh, a Cessna. She actually started out on the Jabiru and worked her way up. Uh, she went from a Jabiru to a Cirrus to a Cessna on up to the Beechcraft. And Theo, uh, same thing. Uh, Jake was the only pilot that I had experience that I actually had to hire. Everybody else has started out as like a wannabe uh really kind of a lower level and the nice thing about that is if we look at the pilot details like on morgan if we look at his skill assignments i can pretty much add his skills to what i want i want them under airmanship and cargo uh and then once we get those filled out then we'll start kind of coming over here to maintenance and stuff like that so that's uh why i like starting them out by or hiring pilots from the bottom up and it seems to be working out pretty well every once in a while i've got to fire a pilot but i'm starting them on the jabiru so it's not really cost me much and i'm not going to have to pay for expensive insurance that way so that was uh christensen let's cross him off the list uh the last base that we got up and running is stockton and i want to show you a couple of things on Stockton. Let's go to the overview map. Uh, and let's uh, let me do a search. ASCK. Uh, you selected. So that's going to bring us over here. Uh, the tabs here on the right or left left hand side here. Uh, you can see all of the jobs that are in and out uh if there was uh, any uh passenger routes which i don't but the important thing is it has commodities and this new base that we're going to be opening up has commodities so the thing that i'm looking at in bases is uh making sure that uh, as i open up a base that they have commodities so that makes it nice to trade back and forth now, uh, the, the flight we're gonna do today is from Stockton down to Browns Field. And Browns Field has commodities and they have watches. So what we're gonna do is uh, buy some watches from uh, here, uh, from uh, Stockton. And we'll be able to put uh, about 650 onto the craft uh, at 122 per watch and they are selling if we click on this so we're going down here to browns let me get this up here uh we're going to browns field right down here at the very bottom and you can see that they're selling for 162. uh so we are going to make a considerable amount of profit on just uh the fact that we're flying down there to open up a base and we're going to be able to uh uh, sell those watches so uh, that works out we're gonna make about twenty six thousand dollars on this flight uh, profit wise uh, that's gross profit uh, that doesn't take out any of the the fuel costs and stuff like that all right so let's see missions uh, I try to do missions from time to time uh, they're just not as plentiful 
and uh, they are uh, I mainly do those for rep so I do the supply missions so let's go ahead and open up uh, the available missions so I'll sort these by supply and the thing of it is that right now since I don't have any factories I can only do tier one uh, missions uh, supply missions so stuff like uh, perfume uh, I could do this if it's close and if it's profitable <laughs> that's the other thing I've got to look for uh, stuff that uh, is is profitable it's like if you look at the watches here I could supply watches uh, to here uh, they I could buy them at uh, Stockton which is 122 and so I would make a little bit of a profit on this uh, but if I had to buy them at the, the new base that we're going to set up grounds that I would be losing money so I got to kind of go through and look at these and when I can find them and again I can use my uh, AI pilots to deliver these uh, supplies I just have to uh, uh, maneuver them around to wherever I need to buy them and then uh, uh, buy those uh, supplies buy those uh, commodities and then have them fly to where they need to be delivered so so that's missions again i think i don't know if i mentioned those before uh, and that's uh uh doing those just to kind of get the rep out of that all right uh let's go back to finance here uh let me cross missions off and uh we want to i want to pay some more on the loan we've got enough money uh, we've built up so let's repay more on the capital right now our monthly payment is at eleven thousand five thirty five and that's just interest only so if you take this eighteen point two percent and uh, times that into here and then divide that number by 12 months this is the figure you're going to get so it'll we'll never get the the darn thing paid so let's uh, repay some more on capital. Uh, we want to do, I want to do 200,000. Uh, 200,000. And let's uh, go ahead and pay back. Make that payment, pay 200,000. Yep. Payment made. Okay, so that brought our monthly payment down to 8,000 so we're steadily getting this done and I'm hoping in the next uh, episode another two weeks we're going to be able to do another oh well I'd like to do two 280,000 and split this in half and uh, trying to get this paid off uh, over the next uh, uh, month or so so that's uh, we wanted to get another loan uh, another payment on the loan so that takes care of that. Let me cross that off the list. Uh, and we did get another achievement. So let's go back to uh, company, uh, personal information, achievements. We got the on the up. So we have $5 million in our company account. And as I showed you earlier, we had jumped up and over that and we're going to be able to maintain up and over that so i suspect our next uh our next achievement well we'll probably get the ten thousand or ten million so uh that's uh an opportunity um and i think our number of pilots uh that could be a possibility because Hopefully by the next episode, we're going to be able to add another uh, aircraft to the fleet. And we'll just kind of see. I don't know if it'll be another uh, uh, Beechcraft or if it will be a uh, Cessna. But uh, I'll just keep looking at the Marcus to see what's out there and what's available. So let's get back to uh, operations. Uh, actually, probably fleet. 
because we're going to have to, well, we're going to have to do a couple of things before we get ready to take off. We've got to buy our commodities and we'll do that. Uh, that's done. We've talked about that. Uh, achievements. We've talked about uh, the aircraft. And I think we are just about ready to get set up to go flying. So let me do this here. Let's get back over to our overview map. And we are already at our base where we want to buy the watches. So we have, so let's uh, buy, uh, let's buy. And so now here's where I was telling you, you have base storage and up to 5,000 pounds. And I have my plane here. So I want to put it into the plane. What I want to, I want to buy 650. So that's 79,000. So let's go ahead and buy that. There we go. Commodities purchased and it's loaded into the plane. So if we come over here to the fleet and we look at our plane, you'll see that we have uh, cargo on board. We have watches that we bought at uh, Stockton. All right. Uh, so that's really kind of all we need to do at the moment here. Uh, actually, so the next thing we need to do is let's go ahead and fly this aircraft because that's what we are going to be doing. So let's uh, fly this aircraft self and we are going to KSDM Brownfield in San Diego. So let's use selected. Uh, we just need to make sure we've got enough gas uh, fuel. So we've already got 650 on there. So let's load some fuel. Uh, let's put 250. That, uh, should give us an estimated 500 miles. That should be enough. So let's go ahead and click OK. All right. And again, uh, we will accept this route because it's just straight down there. And this doesn't really, the flight doesn't carry over. None of this carries over. So let's go ahead and accept the route. And I that should. OK, so uh, so I guess next stop is over into uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I will see you over there. OK, I am over here in the flight simulator. I already have my uh, flight plan set up. Uh, if we scroll back a little bit, we're coming from Stockton down to Brown's Field down here at San Diego. So that is already set up. Uh, let me adjust my time here. Uh, let's change that to there and let's click fly and I will see you in the cockpit. Okay, I am over here in the cockpit. I've got my, uh, Weights all set. Uh, we have uh, 820 pounds, and so we're we're set for that. That's all been set. Uh, I've already set the elevation. Uh, 7,500 foot elevation, I think, is fine. Uh, flight simulator put me at the wrong starting point on the runway, so we're gonna have to swing back around. But that's okay. Once we get going, we can do that. Uh, and so uh, I think we're ready for takeoff. So let's go ahead and get this uh, plane up and going. And then again, once I get up in the air, uh, we're just gonna fast travel down there. So let me get this thing going. 
All right, let's uh, rev this thing up. And release our brake. I'd already had the flaps and everything set on this. So, it's off to Brown's Field where we can uh, set up another base. So, this is kind of exciting. So, let's get this lifted off. We should be able, there we go. Raise our landing gear. And we'll get a little bit of elevation here before we set stuff. It's going to start swinging us back around once I do this. All right, let's go ahead and click that. Navigation and arm that. And again, it should start swinging us around while we're still gaining elevation. Let's put that, we can go ahead and put that flap up. And if we look on here, you can see we're coming around and then we're going to be coming down here. The idea is that I'll, I take off straight so they don't have to do this swinging around, but it seems like Flight Simulator does not want me to take off on that other direction coming from there. So, so I deal with it. Okay, well, I think at this point, I'm going to uh, just uh, let you guys enjoy the flight. Once I get this thing set, then uh, we will, uh, I will catch back up with you when we're about ready to land at Browns Field.
Oh no, I uh, think I uh, called it a little too close here. Let me uh, see if we can switch this back over. Ah, oh, I think we were running out of fuel. Let's see if we can uh, get over here and land. Uh, turn this off. And see if we can land down here. Wow. I actually wasn't expecting that. I thought we had a little more fuel. All right, let's get landed down here. Uh, we can then get some more fuel. and then finish our flight. Well, that was a good practice. I'm just glad just glad we had a uh, airport right here. Minimums. All right. One hundred, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Okay. Well, we are safely on the ground. So let's uh, let's pull over here. And get off the tarmac. And get stopped. I thought we had just a little bit more fuel than that. I thought we had just enough to get there. Uh, son of a gun. All right, let's uh, come to a stop. Let's uh, shut this thing down. Okay. Uh, I am going to hop over into air hauler and let's uh, go ahead and uh, get some more fuel okay here we go we're an air hauler uh, let's uh, put in uh, let's put in uh, 150 pounds there we go okay there's our fuel all right let's uh okay so i need to finish let's go ahead and finish flight monitoring yes i know there's still cargo on board uh okay and so now i am sitting at where in the hell am i sitting at uh Let's see, let's uh, fly this aircraft. And I want to go to KSDM, rounds, you selected. Uh, I've got enough fuel, let's go okay. And I am at KNRS, so I'm gonna Hop back over into Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator and set up a real short uh, flight path. 
Uh, we are currently at KNRS. NRS. And so it's going to be just a really short flight. Seven nautical miles. We were that close. Uh, and we might have been able to make it, uh, but uh, at this point, I wasn't going to try to push it any further. So uh, I'll see you back over in the uh, cockpit over in uh, Flight Simulator. Okay, I am back over here in Flight Simulator. Uh, I'm not going to worry about setting elevations or anything. We're only going seven nautical miles, so basically I'm going to get up in the air uh, and then uh, land at my airport. Now, uh, again, I think Air Hauler has me facing the wrong way, so we are going to have to take off and then swing back around. So, let's go ahead and get started here. Not even going to uh, change the flaps, basically. Uh, boy, that was uh, kind of exciting. Uh, I honestly wasn't expecting to uh, run out of fuel. I guess I cut it just a little too thin, didn't I? All right, let's lift off. And let's raise our landing gear. And we can start kind of swinging around. And hopefully we can find our airport. And it should be, once we get turned around, just about straight ahead. We should see it, actually. We, uh... Not that one. That is uh, Mexico. We are right down on the border here. Should be turned. Yeah, we should be heading pretty much straight for it. Okay. Hopefully we can spot it here. And it'd be about five miles out. Uh, we are heading straight for it. We should see it up here pretty quick. Matter of fact, I think I do see it. Start slowing this thing down. It should be... should be right over here yeah we we're just a little off a little bit let's get our flaps down yeah there's our airport right there get our landing gear down
And this is our airport coming up. Yeah, let's see if we can get a smooth landing here. down on the ground at the airport we need to be at. Son of a gun. Okay. Well, that was kind of exciting. Let's uh, get down to the taxiway. We got a little bit of a taxi here. And there should be coming up here, it looks like, right here. Yeah, oop, hopefully I didn't miss it. There we go. Oh, beautiful. We can just kind of taxi right straight on in. All right. Well, son of a gun. I, I honestly wasn't expecting that, uh, but we did manage to get here. Let's uh, get taxi down to parking, which I think is down at this other end. So I think what I would like to do in the future is land from the other direction. And it looks like, oh, I can see an air, yeah, down. Let's go uh, <clears throat> over this direction. I see a aircraft, a couple of aircraft over here. And I think this is the parking area down over here. Yeah, and there's the fuel depot. So we're just gonna get over here and park. And we can kind of close this uh, video out a little bit. All right, this is close enough. Call it good right here. Okay, now let's shut this thing down. Okay, uh, we are here. Well, I will uh, meet you back over in air hauler, and we will uh, kind of start wrapping things up here. We'll get this base started and uh, get these uh, watches sold, and then probably call it, we'll call the video good. So I'll see you over there in uh, air hauler. Okay, I am over here in air hauler, so let's go to cargo fuel. Uh, let's uh, click uh, OK. We don't have to unload anything. And then let's go finish flight monitoring. Yep, I know that there's still cargo on board, so yes, we really want to stop. And we had a smooth landing. Okay, so oh my goodness, look at that undergoing repairs oh holly what did you do oh uh holly holly it's undergoing aircraft repairs three percent 
Uh, what job did she have? Oh, she's got uh, part of them delivered. Uh, that is... Let's uh, just check on the accepted cargo. All right, she's got time to finish. Ah, son of a gun. All right, well, I got to keep an eye on her, I guess. All right, let's get back over to uh, the overview map. And we are... Uh, what airport are we at? That's Stockton, so we need to come down here to Brown. Click on Brown. There we go. Uh, oh, and there's already a new uh, cargo job since we've landed here. But we want to go to Commodities. We got watches. We want to sell the 650 that we uh, have. So let's go ahead and sell the Max 650 and sell commodities sold. All right. So that, if we go over to our ledger, let's go to company, go to our ledger and refresh. And we see the watches that we sold. And so that was 105. We had paid. Uh, uh, what did we pay? We paid, I think, 79,000 right here. We paid 79,000. So again, that was uh, a pretty uh, nice substantial uh, increase or you know, 26,000. The other thing I wanted to mention about that aircraft that I bought, the Beechcraft, it's been flying now for eight or nine days, and it's already made almost uh, uh, $475,000. So it's almost paid for itself. Uh, another uh, couple of three days, it'll have paid for the aircraft and then uh, really start uh, moving forward, adding um, additional money to the coffers. So... Uh, all right, so we want to get back over to, let's see, our operations. We actually, we want to bring up bases. So we want to open a new base. Let's open the base, which we're at, KSDM, Brownfield, uh, 215,000, and it's going to be 33,814 a month, and the longest runway is uh, 7,964 feet. And it has commodities, so it has lights, but no ILS. So let's go ahead and select this. Uh, yes, everything that I covered. Yes, we want to start this. And there it is. We've got Stockton, or we got Brownfield under construction. So it will be ready. It'll be finished in 90 hours, uh, 91 hours. So what is that? That's about three and a half, four days. It'll be finished. All right. Let's see. Is there anything else that I needed to cover today? We covered the Beechcraft. That. Uh, we covered. Uh, we set up a new base. We paid on the loan. And we even got to see that uh, one of my uh, pilots uh, uh, had, a, uh, had a lapse in uh, landing. So let's see what uh, her pilot log says. Uh, Holly Hansen, pilot log. Incident, landing was suicidal. Great, serious damage. Uh, so she did get landed, unlanded. Uh, currently, uh, the aircraft is under repairs. So that'll be done by, uh, looks like about uh, five or six o'clock, and then she'll carry on. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. All right, let's uh, just finish off looking at our company finance. Let's do a refresh. So we're still over five million, and uh, so not too bad. All right, all you uh, cargo haulers, expediters out there, flight simmers, uh, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really will help out the video, and please subscribe. It'll really help out the channel. Ring that bell. It will let you know when I am uh, uploading new videos, and I'm doing that on a uh, pretty much a weekly basis. 
Okay, flight simmers, keep those smooth landings coming. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.